We want to go after Titus, okay? Uh, robotics? Yeah, yeah. Did you find something in the data dump? Yeah, um, okay, well, let's just say that all the, the taxes and the government grants and the research programs, you'll notice the Koi signs there, none of it adds up, okay? They're, they're collaborating with Bloom on something they call the Tenure Plan, again, Koi signs, hmm. which is supposed to improve CTOS security. Then why are they filing patents on military tech? Because right? CTOS is going the way of all control systems. That's why Junior here is a little bot on a mission. No, he's not. That is not your fucking call. Wait, you think you're just gonna skip through Titus's front door and steal all their dirty secrets? Even Uncle Sam buys his biometric locks from Titus. That's the level of security we're dealing with, amigo. Uh, palm reader? That's easy. We just need to find a hand. I bet you can get one, no problem. Hey, that's your plan? Cut somebody's hand off? But it works. Not here. There are heart rate monitors and infrared scan to check for blood flow. No blood flow, no unlock, no pass okay, around. Okay, fine. Then we, we grab someone alive and we get them to open it for us. No. The heart rate monitors will flag if he's nervous. Oh, okay, then we, we, we inject someone with a, with a sedative to bring down their heart rate. For fuck's we'll sake, we already had a working plan here. Not with him! Junior, off. Oh. Hey, listen to me. You don't get to walk in here like you own the place, okay? This is my garage. Mm -hmm. My hardware. He wants to turn Junior into a bomb. An EMP bomb, Trojan horse style. We hit the right hardware, fry the database, and the doors reset to the default codes. Easy fucking peasy. And all we need is the defaults. Huh. It does work, man. Huh? One night. One night in the desert together, and the two of you are best friends? You know what? Go ahead, Marcus. Go ahead. Take his side, okay? Don't let me get in the way. Right? Hey, grow the fuck up, son. Fuck you, say to hey, me! Hey, 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 hey! Hold on. <laughs> Chill out, man. Chill out. How do we get him inside? Well, first of all, <clears throat> we're gonna have to get rid of all this <laughs> meaningful propaganda. Stop. Stop! Guys, stop. Just keep the paint. When one of these things breaks down, Titus picks them up from a service depot. Oh. That's your way to get him inside. Hmm. That's good. That's very good. Nice French. All right, all right. <laughs> Ready to roll when you are, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> Really like to know though why they like return of dead sec like the zombie Got thing. Why? Back. Yep, he's in there. So will MacGyver and EMP at the repair depot? Hard to believe that's all you really need to break into the world's top security company. Well, not counting the thirty-six thousand dollar robot you stole. So what you're saying is I'm the key contributor in this plan. Hmm. Nah, I'm saying you basically a shoplifter, a highwayman. Highwayman? Oh, I like that. The masked highwayman stalks the twilight roads, ever searching for the kingdom's most treasured relics. No job is too small or too demeaning for the masked highwayman. The masked highwayman and his underperforming but big-hearted companion, the Dark Stranger. You know what? I take back, highwayman. You're now the masked cracker. <laughs> The mask. All right, I'm gonna whip us up a nasty <laughs> oh, EMP God. bomb. I don't think I'll have a problem finding <coughs> the right parts in this place. Man, nope, doesn't look like the it. Robots we could build in here. Yeah, maybe next time. Okay. Okay, I feel like that wasn't a good camera to take. Okay, so I need to hack whoever the fuck that is over there. Damn it! Oh, I wonder. Can I make the robot love? Uh, oh, I mean, I can. I just don't think he'll do anything. Okay, I need another camera. Because it said that I... Oh, that's not what I wanted. At all. No, I don't want all the way over... <sighs> Son of a bitch. Okay, get in there. Oh, I think that's the one I was just in, though. Okay, get in there. Oh, okay, I see. That was actually the camera I was aiming for. It just isn't where I thought it was. Okay. There's a camera there, camera there. 
All right, what the hell am I doing with those? You know what? Robot love. Go, go. Okay, if I control this though, that gives me outside. So that's no good. I feel like the thing I need to hack is like so fucking close to me and yet so fucking far away. Okay, so that's the one that's outside, right? Yeah. Hack that camera. Oh my. Alright, I give up. Uh I need to leave that as well. Um Don't see that every day. Oh, it's also not where that is. Alright, I thought it was inside, but apparently it's outside. Uh, can I get over that fence from there? Oh, uh, oh I mean, oh, oops, maybe. Oh, God. Well, I mean, I made it. Now, whether or not I can do this without being detected, though. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so that's that solved. Now, there was a little robot around here. I did make him love. No, not that. I need this. The robot. There we go. Get out of the restricted area. Because, you know, the robots are good. I mean, they, they do a lot. They can really fuck people up. When they want to hug. Yeah, come on. Bonk, got him. Okay, that's that guy. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody else back here now, except for the robot, so that's good. Uh, I still don't have a way in there, it looks like. What the fuck was that? Oh, I think that guy shot the robot. Yeah. He has an expired work visa. Oh, I wonder. Can I, uh... Yeah, yeah. Come on. Can I call the cops on him? I can. Because that's a heavy. I'd much rather not deal with him. Alright. Okay, so I still need in there. I don't even know what... Oh, I bet you I'm finding parts. That's why I need to get there myself. Uh... Okay, and then if I can get my little robot all the way over there. But that's awfully far away. I don't know if this will make it all that distance. Because, I mean, my I don't think my, dro or my uh, flyer made it that quite that far. I might have to try and get closer. See, now I would have called the gang guys, but I didn't want them calling in more reinforcements... Whereas, generally, if you call the cops, they won't call reinforcements. I mean, gang members, obviously, will call in reinforcements if the cops are the ones coming after them, but... Good God, why the hell is my... Like, why do I have such a bright fucking flashy light? No wonder people keep seeing me. How do I, uh... Nope, that's not it. Well, actually, I do need that. Okay. So, what did that open up exactly? Okay, it unlocked this, which is apparently nothing. Like, really? What did that do then? Alright. Whatever. I mean, it must have done something somewhere. But there's another little entrance here. Oh, God. Oh, my. Okay, so I need to try and go up. Nothing to report. Oh, God. So is that why this thing is so easy to detect? Because they have, like, the brightest fucking light in the universe on it? Like, that's so... Like, it's not very good for a stealth mission. Okay, what the hell did I just shut off? Oh, 
Get inside, there we go. There we go, now I got an access key. Ooh, and what's this? All Titus depots must refer to the 10 year plan parts list so we can begin the recycling program as a team. We're confident we'll be able to deliver our goals within budget. All right. Now that I'm assuming then I can't pick shit up with this guy. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, I can, awesome. All right. Shut that off. Cool. Oh, that's fine. Nope. Come on. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up quickly. Got it. <laughs> I mean, I fucking got it. That's all that counts. Or that's all that matters. In the end. Is I did manage to acquire the part. Okay. And looks like that guy actually left without a fight. Which is... Good, I guess. I mean, it would have been... Well, no, that's actually probably for the best they left without a fight. Because if he had put up a fight, then reinforcements may have been called. But also, they're the... Because the many security... Oh. Okay. Wrench, I got the EMP ready. Where's Junior now? I got him ready at the drop-off zone. Can you get the door for me? You got it. What door are we talking about here? Ah, this one? Uh... Like, I, I really don't know what door. So I can control this? Nope. Let's reactivate that. Uh, this thing doesn't even look like it's linked up to anything. Ah, there it is. But I still don't know, like, is that the door that he wants me to open? Because if so, I don't actually... Oh. Durr. Okay. Nope, not with this thing. Alright. So I'm actually sitting right outside this thing. Okay. There you go. Beep boop pop boop. That's right, Ranch. I got a picture of you hugging the robot. I wonder if we're going to get the robot back. Cut him off again. And we are back outside. Oh, we got to plant the EMP on him now. Well, I mean... Okay, I was going to say, why the fuck would the door be closed? Okay, little guy. Today is your day. Make us proud. I mean, I feel like that's a little obvious. All like, right, that, that seemed awfully up. big. Stop, Titus. Ranch, you and I need to powwow. I have an idea. I'm sending you some coordinates to follow. Ooh, a special mission. Marcus, you meet me outside Titus when you're ready. Near the big Silicon Valley sign. All right. Are you running the show now? Nope. This one's going to be mostly Marcus. But I'm going to do everything I can to make sure he gets in there. I'll see you there, Ray. I wonder if Ranch is going to set up another zipline that I can completely ignore. Alright. Ugh. I still can't believe that in the last part there. Like, twice. I did it twice and I didn't see what he did. I I mean, he was right though. I would have loved it that, it that he set up a fucking zipline for me. That would have been fucking awesome. Mainly because I would have liked to see exactly how Marcus was going to get down the zip line. Because, I mean, you know, different games have different ways of doing it. Like, you take Uncharted, for example, he uses his gun to get down it. Oh. An investigation has been launched to determine whether Invite Corporation, along with former Congressman Mark Thruss, attempted to illegally influence the congressional election. 
Evidence of their malfeasance was provided by the controversial hacker group DedSec. As a result of their evidence, the election itself has been delayed. All right. But I mean, if we blew up all the voting machines that they were going to that they tampered with, wouldn't there be like next to no evidence now? Like, right? You would think. Well, are you trying to top a glass? The more of them we drag into the light, the more torches and pitchforks we're gonna see in response. You sure you want to compare your followers to a bunch of angry villagers? Yeah, well, no, man, but the people are angry, and they should be. They're taking back what's hey, safe. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you're pointing them at the right monsters. Right? Why did Marcus get so angry all of a sudden? Anyway, you get to go inside Titus and play with the robots. <laughs> Shit, when was this decided, man? Well, we did rock, scissors, and dynamite. Yeah, but I wasn't even there. No, but if it was a tie, you win. Wrench did paper, I did dynamite. Yeah, dynamite. It's a regional thing. It's, it, technically, they cancel each other out. Okay, so. It sounds, sounds fair. And I sent him into one of the Titus warehouses. Now, he's got the delicate job. Of reading the fucking manual. <laughs> and you are gonna go to the front door, get the model numbers, and send back to him for the default codes. I will be nearby looking at blueprints and power plants. Yo, let's do it. All right, yeah. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. See, like, it's one of the weird things about games like this, right? Like, he was really fucking angry there. And I have absolutely no idea why. Oh my god, why the hell was he so loud? Why did he all of a sudden just become, like, insanely loud? Anyway, like, he was insanely angry there, and I don't know why. I mean, I don't remember how the last one ended, but you would think that he would have more or less the same, I don't know, feelings or whatever going on at the beginning of each of the three missions, because all three of them... Uh, unlocked at the same time. So, I mean, I don't know why he'd be that angry during this mission, and yet in the last mission that we did last week, you know, he was like, meh, whatever, you know? Like, you know, he was annoyed, I would say, but, I mean, I feel like since he's part of DedSec, he's always at least annoyed. I don't think they have anything. Like, I don't think they have a calm. They're always annoyed at someone or something somewhere, right? I really see now I was gonna grab a car and drive there but then I saw what the roads looked like and that would have been a lot of crisscrossing oh okay no we're good it's really relying on there not being a bigger drop off there because every once in a while when you jump or when you're going oh my somebody had an accident I almost had one okay so we're gonna go into Titus who apparently makes the robots and biometrics well, Wrench reads us a manual on, I'm assuming, robots and biometrics. And Ray does nothing. So, yay. I don't know why Ray and uh, Wrench don't get along. You'd think that they would get along gloriously based on, you know, the fact that they both like building weird things. Cool. My turn. Am I going to connect up to Junior and drive the little robot around? That'd be cool. I wonder if I'm going to have attacks or anything. Nice. Junior's in. I need to figure out where I'm taking him. You're looking for the security hub nearby. Blueprints show it's a EMP protected by a Faraday cage. So it's not going to work. Unless you stick JR. I don't know if I can go on. <laughs> hmm. How do I dick around with this shit? Okay. Look for a switch box. There we go. Gotta be one somewhere. I got it. We're good. We good. Hey. I'm going to spew. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Oh, that's one. Okay, and then back. I guess that would be why they didn't uh, 
make that one that I had to go through a camera for it. Jesus Christ, is this ever loud? Keep heading toward the loading base. The security room is just off the What the fuck is Satara side. doing here now? This isn't your mission, this is Ranch's. This is fun, but don't forget what you came here to do, Marcus. I haven't forgotten. Just enjoying the ride. Okay, then that way. There's a security guy in there, so odds are I'm gonna have to come in here at some point. There's another elevator, maybe? Yep. And drop. <laughs> so you think that's wrench again? Like it's not like he didn't program that into the robot. That's just yeah. I think that's just wrench. All right, Junior's in place. Everybody say night night to Junior. Blink. EMP work like a charm, Ray. Yep. Call me. Pleasant with surprise. You had doubts? I always have doubts. Feels like when someone pulled the fire but I also have an excellent poker face, man. Fuck, what's gonna happen? Not a skill, mind you. More due to years of rapid binge drinking. Uh, Ranch picked up Titus's default door code. 4545. Thanks. Okay. So odds are I gotta go in through there then, right? Now, what are the odds? Oh, they do have a robot. I was gonna say, what are the odds that they have a robot that I can use to maybe lower? Oh, damn it. That's not gonna work. This one again. Come on. Oh, yes, robot. Come here. Come here, robot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Love, robot. Love. I mean, he's probably gonna take out these civilians first, unfortunately. Oh, wait. No, there he goes. He's fucking off somewhere. Where does this camera go to? Outside. I really wish that when you hit B, it just backed you up to like the last camera or something instead of like all the way out. Uh, let's see. There was a thing to hack over there. Now is that outside or okay? Okay. No, that's definitely inside. Now, is he the only dickhead here? It looks like it. There. Okay. Unlock that. Really like to know what exactly he's doing there. Because, like, the little robot is plugging in. That kind of makes sense. Go, got him. Oh, God, all right. Love, robot, love. You need hugs, you need all the hugs. You need hugs from the guy upstairs. <laughs> Getting hardwired. Fucking love the robots in this game, man. They make little to no sense, but they're fucking awesome. Oh. That was fucking close. This guy. Hurry up. And get this guy. Good night to you. Oh, and that, that was it. We had three guys to take care of, apparently. So until Marcus crouches down again. Although I see another dude already, but he must be. Oh, no, that's the robot. So Marcus must not count the robot. All right, I'm on my way to the server room. You should be able to walk right up to the database server now. Well, except for all the alarms, lasers, and guys with guns. Oh, that easy, huh? Thanks. So, like, Marcus doesn't count robots as security or something, because, like... Hey, let's see what happens when I make you love. Um, Because, like, whenever... Because, like, that robot there was still alive. And yet, you know, Marcus was running like there was nobody left, right? So, I mean, he must not count the robots. 
Oh. Yep, you got that guy. Oh. What? But I used the calm disruption thing. So you tell me that's not what that's for? Also, they call reinforcements on their own robot. Oh my. Now then, where the fuck is it that I need to go? Well, I need to go in here. Okay. Man. You're really laying into that poor little robot. Really calling him back up again? Like, wow. Wait, what was that? I'm, I've got an intruder. No, you don't. No, you don't. Control is dead sex. Send more cars. Got that guy. Oh no! No! Fuck! I forgot that the heavy. Oh, I thought didn't think the heavy would come around me like that. Okay, so I got fucked there by the game because for some reason they decided they needed reinforcements because one of their robots went haywire. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like that was always my issue with the original Watch Dogs 2. But you know, obviously you could disable. The reinforcements. I it's that as soon as anything them. happens, Shit, they call reinforcements. Right the it's not like, oh, Except we're down to like one or two guys. Or it's like, I'm like the last guy oh, left or something. Or there isn't, or like he's tearing through us. It's like, oh no, we saw a guy send reinforcements. And, and it's like, literally, we saw a guy. So send reinforcements. It's not like, I don't know. It's not like we saw a guy with a big gun or anything. It's just like, hey, there's a dude, therefore... The dozen or so our men that we have aren't enough. Like they just have no confidence in themselves. Don't hey, this guy shouldn't be here. Nah, it's Go good. It. Fuck you. Okay, fuck you. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I was taking cover. I realized that in reality that wouldn't have worked. But come on, video game logic. If I take cover, I'm behind cover. Whether or not it's a couch that you can clearly see over. Uh see, this is why I don't like to infiltrate places as Marcus. Right, it's so much room. fucking harder. You should be able to walk right up to the database server now. Well, except for all the alarms, lasers, and guys with guns. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that easy, huh? Thanks. Wait. Don't wait. And then every once in a while, they do that too, where they turn around, and it's like, why did you just turn around? Make you love again. Keep that up. See where the robot's going. Okay, so the robot should be going to take out one of these guys. Big booty call. Oh, I see. Because it takes it a minute to uh, to activate. That's why it's like that. Oh! There we go. I hear somebody running downstairs or something. Okay, that was an interesting choice to make. Oh, they're still going after the robot. I mean, there's only two guys left. I'm just gonna go for it and hope for the. Nope, Marcus! Marcus, get behind cover! Get behind cover! Oh my god. Aha! Uh -huh. Goodbye. Bonk. There we go. We're good? We're good. Finally. Fuck me. Alright. I realize I don't have to kill or take out everyone. But at the same time, it just, it's so much nicer once everyone's gone. 
Uh, okay, apparently I need to hack some stuff. Ooh, what's this? Sorry to be blunt, but I don't want to hear from you again. Please stop contacting me. All right. I don't know what that's about, but whatever. Okay, got that. But I'm assuming then that I need to, uh... Oh, no, that opened it. All right. So what did I open up over there? Then? Oh, I just opened up both doors. No, that's not good. Shut that off. Thank you. So I, oh man, could I have just got my robot in here? Did I not actually have, well, no, it says it looks like a keyboard one, so yeah. Probably did have to get Marcus himself in here. Required fingers. Maybe I will activate that just in case. All right, Ray. Send it something your way. Oh, yeah. That's definitely something. You know, this is gonna take some time to parse. You should be close to a private lift in the CEO's office. My blueprint doesn't show where it goes, which means it's exactly what we're looking for. All right. Okay, disable that. No. No. I, I'm always worried about those because, like, I don't think that I can set them off if it's me who did it. But at the same time, I don't want to, you know, be thinking that and then all of a sudden electrocute myself, you know. Because I feel like that's something that would happen to me in this game. Because this game does like to fuck with me like that. Uh, but, you know, once again, no security makes for better times. It's the militarization. Security robots, surveillance, and alarm systems. I'm all Damn. Would you look at this place? She even got her own private elevator. I never signed up to help make machines that hurt people. And which people anyway? Bad people? Who's to say who they are? The whole thing is not so clear to me anymore. That, uh, that thing is floating. I'm sure you're planning to do the usual PR dog and pony show during my visit, but I'm going to warn you now that won't distract me. I want to see working robots, no robots, no deal. Uh, okay, that's probably some military guy talking to him. Ugh. So they're trying to make, like, military robots, eh? Alright, let's see where we're going. going down. down, apparently. Marcus, first impressions on the data you sent me. Looks like Titus has the 10-year plan brewing in some kind of prototype lab. Alright, let's see what they're keeping in sub-level 6. And smash the shit out of it. What Wrench means is find and record evidence that Titus is up to something naughty. Well, if you want to get technical, sure. Hmm. <laughs> Are we going to go down there and find out that they've been building Terminators or something? Now, I noticed when it was going down that it had P1, which is generally parking, right? So right, does that I mean that this is below the parking? parking or? You got anything else on the prototype labs? Only that there's one thick ass iron door in your way. No idea what's behind it if you get through. When I get through. Yeah, exactly. When. Not if. Come on, man. Have more faith than that. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. That. Alright. Which leads me. Alright. Can I use these? Okay, I can. See, I figured there was red lines, so I couldn't use them. Boop. While the current Titus Watcher robots have limited offensive capability, we plan to fit them for a much more active role in conflict zones over the next several years. We're currently testing damage resistance within urban suppression contexts. We're also in negotiations with Galilei to build walkers for their space program. Okay. It's not worrisome at all. Alright. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oops. So that one didn't look too bad, because, I mean, it Within looked the fairly stationary. Titus will begin field testing assault and defense capabilities uh -oh. of our robots for use in both domestic and military situations. Featuring reliable accuracy and superior reflexes, our robots will provide safer alternatives to soldiers or security personnel. 
I don't know, reliable accuracy. Do you see the wall behind those targets? Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, that way first. That way. That. Okay. Now that'll have to go like that. Alright, let's see what's behind door number three. We got melee robots, we got shooty robots. Um, behind door number three, you're One gonna have invisible ones. One of our long-term goals for Titus robots is to construct armor capable of withstanding the strongest ballistic attacks in a combat scenario. In domestic security situations, these new models will easily be able to withstand small projectile attacks, Molotov cocktails, and other improvised riot weaponry. Okay, but that didn't show it, like, stopping a bullet. I mean, it showed it stopping empty bottles. Like, yeah, I can I've stop an empty ball. Kinds of ridiculous robotic shit down here. Here, you're not gonna believe it. Anything usable for the video? Titus and Bloom plan to put CTOS functionality into armed robots and use them against civilians. How does that sound? Yeah, all too familiar. What does that mean? Feeding big data through war machines was a wet dream of some of the blue concept grunts when we first were designing the CTOS. I made sure it got the veto back then. That's why you've been so involved with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I have my suspicions. And now we've got the proof to burn them. Head on out. Not done here yet. More to see. I'll be in touch. All right, let's see what's behind the big ass doors now. Weapon activated. Weapon activated. Guys. Oh, Guys, God. I can't even. Where'd you find? Oh my. I can't even. Oh. Okay, so he found the fucking. Yep, he found the Terminator, Man, a spider bot. With all the toys? Look at this thing. Fuck me. That is a big bad robot. Please tell me I get to use this thing. Like, please tell me I get to play with the giant robot. The giant mechanical spider with what looks like a mounted cannon on it. Oh shit. System online. Oh, and I can zoom in. Jump. Stomp. Oh my. Alright, I think I got this beast all figured out. Just gotta get it through these what? security doors. Any ideas? What Listen, blew up over there? I didn't the hit the shoot button. System, the doors should open as a fail safe. I can do that. Yeah? Who the fuck is shooting at me? Who dares? Frick. Think you can shoot at me? I don't think so. Dude, this thing's fucking awesome. Uh, let's see. How do I... I don't know how to... What I'm doing here. Really don't. Just blow shit up, maybe? Okay, so the gun is a little unwieldy. Unwieldy. Uh, yeah, I actually... Oh, and I have a stun gun as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and it climbs up walls. What? Uh, what? No. Oh, my God. That is fucking awesome. That is so fucking cool. Fucker. Oh, I couldn't even get that guy. That was literally, like, he was calling in reinforcements, but I, and I couldn't even get to him. Alright, up the wall we go. So fucking cool. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. I'm actually taking damage here. Probably all these explosions that I keep taking. Oh, no, it can't aim down. Goodbye. Okay, so I still don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Here, like... Yeah? Oh, I gotta try this. Oh, I get fucking shit on Oh, that's you up there. That's fine, we good. 
we're good. Okay, climb up. Oh, that one. Oh, so maybe just me even walking on it may have triggered that. Yeah, frick. God, this thing has a lot of bullets in it. Oh, get it. Well, I mean, if they wanted a field test for this thing, they fucking got it, whether they wanted it like this or not. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of fucking hits here. Because I can't see most of the people who are fucking shooting me. Because this room is so fucking big, like... Yeah? Oh, come on, just get to the other thing. Okay, there we go. That did it. Heading to the prototypes now. Oh, that was cool. Looks like the door to the backup servers is still closed. I'm on it. Knock the fuck out of the prototype oh. while I work on the door. Counting on you, buddy. 90% function loss. More systems comp. Yeah. Coming in, boys. Systems comp. Yeah, I know. Systems compromised. Systems compromised. I got it. Fuck off, Rick. Yeah, got him. Ooh, now can I get through the window? Can I just like crawl through? Nope. Come on. Really, I can't get through that window? Uh, it doesn't look like this robot heals, which makes sense. Uh, it also looks like those guys may be trapped on the other side of that. Okay, got rid of that one. 75%, eh? So, wait, am I healing then? Because, I mean, I remember it saying 75% once before. Oh my god, all three of them just got fucking annihilated. Yeah? Dude, I think the fucking Empire had, this, had these things in Star Wars. Like, didn't they have, like, big spider bots of some kind? Goodbye. Got it. The door is now open. There should be an elevator. You'll need to find your way up to the back of server room on sub-level 3. Who needs elevators? Make sure you smash the shit out of everything. Well, of course. I mean... Can we have a giant killer robot? I'm... Like, nothing is fucking living through this. Oh, I bet you they're up here. Hi, asshole. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god, this thing's fun. Can we get a game where it's like all you do is play as weird robots like this? Like, that would be amazing. I would play the fuck. Oh, you know what? Come to think of it. Sorry, lady. Come to think of it, was there... Because there was a thing in the first Watch Dogs, one of the uh, digital trips you could get that had something to do with, like, a giant spider robot or something, but I never played it. Was it something like this? Because if it was, I'm gonna... I'm gonna feel real silly for not playing it then, because this is fucking awesome. I like the crawly on walls and everything. It's just amazing. Uh... Okay, the door is open. Uh, it looks like I am being healed, because all of my redness went away. So that's always good. Alright, where am I going? I don't see any exits. Uh, oh, I see. It just smashed. Goodbye. Everything. Once again, if they wanted a field test of this robot, man. I mean, proof of concept right here. This thing will fuck everything up. I mean, maybe not in, like, super heavy combat zones, because, you know, I was getting fucked up by, like, the little shitty security guys and their pistols, but, you know. And, you know, generally, if you go to war, they'll probably have, like, a rocket launcher. <laughs> He's so fucking proud of himself. <laughs> oh, that was fucking awesome. Hey, what's going on in there? Uh, don't know, man. Uh, way above my pay grade. Good luck. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was probably the greatest mission ever. Oh my god, I love that so much. It kind of makes me want to go back to Watch Dogs 1 and see if that was the uh, digital trip. Because I only ever played a couple of the digital Yo, trips. Marcus, check out all this Titus shit. It is like engineer porn. I mean, machine learning, nanotech, rail guns. Rail guns? Yeah, I thought y'all might like that. <laughs> this was a gift? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, damn, Ray. You're like some kind of greasy, foul-mouthed Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry fucking Christmas. Hey, you guys ready? Sitara's about to release the vid. Compared to other Silicon Valley Titans, Titus goes unnoticed. They do not put effort into their public face. They operate behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. DeadSec pride, and what we found should worry you. Titus is using your tax contributions to fund military-capable machines. Today, a combat prototype may have based through their own facility, demonstrating the destruction they can cause. Within the next 10 years, these machines can be deployed on American soil. If you do not exercise your right to protest them now, they will build an army to keep you quiet and compliant. Titus has partnered with Bloom to grant CTOS access to their machines. Bloom has sold your private information and weaponized it to use against you, should this project continue. We will not stand idle while that happens. DeadSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. Come on, let's go see what you scored before you get all the pages all stuck together. Hey, I'll catch up with you later. All right, later. All right. So that was the greatest mission in existence, all right? Okay, so next time we have Shanghai. And then after that, it'll be taking down Bloom. So that was fucking amazing. I'm so happy, and I hope that at some point they make a game that all it is. Well, I mean, I guess it could if they went, they could make like an arcade game, that's you know about driving that fucking spider bot around, because that was awesome. I mean, a full fledged game. I mean, obviously it would get fairly boring after a while, but just like a little short, like five dollar arcade game, that would be fucking amazing. Uh, but thanks everybody for watching. And hopefully next week will be just as fun.